come back to this day in history. Our nightly look back at a specific day in history, where we take a look back at the events of a day, the historic context in which the events took place, and the historic ramifications of those events. As always, if you have not yet, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and tell a friend. And without any further ado, this day in history, August the 25th. And on this day, in 2017, Category 4 Hurricane Harvey made landfall near Houston, Texas, between Port Arthurus and Port O'Connor. The storm logged sustained winds up to 130 miles per hour. Massive storm surges threatened nearby coastal areas, and days-long precipitation caused astonishing flooding. By late morning, August 26, the storm was downgraded to a Category 1, then to a tropical storm the following day. The storm continued to dump massive amounts of rain on Texas and southern Arkansas and Tennessee for over a week. Hurricane Harvey caused around $125 billion in damage, surpassed only by the $160 billion in damage caused by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And it was the first hurricane, major hurricane, to make landfall in Texas since Hurricane Clea in 1970. Close to 90 people were killed in the storm, and over 135,000 homes were either damaged or destroyed, and 1 million vehicles were totaled. A devastating hurricane season, which included Hurricane Irma and Maria, hitting Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands stalled the developing cleanup efforts in Texas.